Hello again. All right, if, you're, uh, if you've come this far through the other lessons, uh, we've, already, uh, we've already covered two of the most common bar shapes, and this is the third and probably the last uh, of the most common ones. And the first one was based on the C, which we turned into a bar. The next one was based on an A, which we played with those fingers and turned into a bar shape. And this one is exactly the same principle. It's going to be based on our F chord. So you probably can work this out yourself. You're going to remove your first finger and use that, save that to use as a capo. So you have to play your F with those two fingers. And then you're already in the position there to slide it and become a movable chord. That's a new major chord shape based on an, an F position with a, with a bar chord. And really, if you've, um, you've just done the A chord, it's, it's really simple. There's your A shape. Not, not chord, this is a C chord, but uh, that position of an A, all you're doing is moving that finger to the next string. And you're getting another major chord. That one's based on an A shape. This one's based on an F shape. So, yeah, pretty, pretty simple. If you've, uh, if you've done the last one, it's, it's a very similar shape. Um, so, yeah, from an F, we now have an easy F sharp. Next one up will be a G. And I'll just, just stop there to, uh, to show you this G shape. Um, both those outside strings are the same, but if I let go of this string and just play the, the top strings, top three strings, that's exactly the same as the G you always play. Some people hold it like that. Exactly the same notes, that's your normal G. I play it, I play it as a, bar, a partial bar. And it normally has this note, which is, which is just an echo of that string anyway. So it's only a three string chord, the G. And what we're doing is changing to a full, well it actually doesn't even need a full bar because this finger's gonna uh, going to take the place on that string, but I always tend to play it as a full bar. So it's exactly the same G that we've normally been playing, it's just now that you understand the shape is simply, it's based on an F, moved up two frets. Uh, and then we have G sharp, an A, you can test it, it's the same sound as our A we're used to playing, you can now play that as an F shape on, on the fourth fret. A, B flat, B, C. So there's another C chord we've just learned. And obviously as far up the neck as you can reach, but you probably can't go very much further than there. C, D, got up to about an F. Uh, so, and just to show you as well how, the, how these chords patterns relate to each other, so I think I showed you last time with, with your C chord, which is actually a, it's that shape, but it's a, on, on where there's, there's no bar, it's an open chord. If you take the root note, there's a, that's a C octave, and you use that as your position for your A shape chord, that'll be the same chord. And then from your A shape, so you've got three frets covered there, Skip this next fret and start on this fret and play your F shape, it's going to be the same chord. So those ones, there's your, that's a C, because that's a C, because that's a C. And you could work it out as well for other chords. There's a D. So starting on this fifth fret where my finger is would be the A shape D. And then skipping that fret and starting on this fret would be your F shape D. And actually, I don't have enough neck room, but you could probably show you with a C chord. C, C shape to the, 
to the A shape C to the F shape C. The next step would be to skip two and you could play your C shape again as a whole octave up the neck. You've gone 12 frets. So that's that's actually another, that's skipping another two frets. But uh, yeah, you probably don't need to worry about that. But just it's interesting to, to start to pay attention to where you can find the same chord now with different, different shapes. Uh, and then as an exercise, uh, let me see. We, you already know this chord progression really well. Going from an open C to an F to a G. They're the most common ukulele chords ever. So let's change it. So these are bar chords. So there's your C shape. There's your F shape and then your G shape. But I, I get that it's a bit awkward trying to use these fingers when you're not pressing a bar. So let's shift it all up and we'll play it as a D. But think of it as there's your capo. You can actually think of it as your C, F and G shapes. C, F is going to place those fingers down, which would then actually give you a an F sharp chord because we're in we're in D, F sharp, and then that would be an A. Same same position, just slid up, slide down. Play with that shape. There's an F shape chord, slide it up to. Now you can play any three song ukulele chord in D. And if now you want to be brave and go to E, it's the same shapes. You've got that shape as a C shape, and these two are both F shapes. something to practice that'll uh that's probably blowing some people's minds now as far as how they're all related but uh yeah really good practice to to now use this f chord and play around with it and see where it play around where you can find uh new new positions to play it and just uh yeah just have fun just explore stuff but now you know a c shape and an a shape and now an f shape and they're the th the, the major building blocks of all the chords that you're going to discover on up the neck on as bar chords all right cool see you soon